truth. You can't handle the truth. Welcome back to Magician Word. Today is all about the truth about global poker. I'm camping out at Table Rock Lake right now, but I'm still going to have to play my tournament tonight because by some stroke of luck, I have been on the top of the leaderboard in the rattlesnake. And I'm at the top of the leaderboard for the last three days. After placing seventh in the Lost Sock Tournament and winning two pair of Global Poker Socks, I cashed in all of the GC Rattlesnakes that day, which put me in first place with 537 points. After day two, I held my lead with 751 points, and on day three, increased to 999 points. So, even though I'm camping, even though it's going to really cut into my plans. Last night, um, I ended up getting a seventh place in the last tournament. And that nudged me up just enough to, to stay at the top of the leaderboard for the third day. Now, here's the thing. I had to stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning to get to seventh. And then, at 3 o'clock... When my pocket aces come in and I'm all in, pocket jacks is right there to run me down and catch a jack. So anything can happen. You've really got to love poker, but I'm going to show you how you can really have some fun on this website if you don't take it too serious. Yeah, so for some reason, even though there were 10 minutes left in registration and... Um, Red 333, my sweet girlfriend could get on. I, it, it would not show up on Global Poker online, so I it, what, tried, restarted my phone three or four times and could not get it to work. And so I was going to just play this first one on my phone. But um, we'll see. Maybe I can get in the next one. All right. Here we are. Beautiful night. Got the fire going. But the real fire right over here. Here in a hand with Cozen uh, and the unusuals. Calls my 650. All I've got is a Jack King. Now I've got the full house. If he doesn't have the nine, I'm in good shape. Sorry, it's so blurry. I don't know why. I did put it under water a minute ago. All right, I will go all in with you if you want to. Okay, here we are at the campsite. I uh, only had luck in one tournament so far. Good morning. Let's recap what happened last night. First tournament. I wanted to late register. There was still 10 minutes of late registration left. And yet I couldn't uh, get on because on my phone it would not show that game even though there was over 10 minutes left of late registration. And I know that because my girlfriend, Red333, was playing the game so and, and could easily see how much time was left. So, had to get in on the second game and I did last in that. Ended up getting 6th place out of like 230 players and in the middle of the game I checked to see if um, I was still you know, in first on the leaderboard, and I was actually had dropped to second, and uh, played the last two, and uh, I got, went out early in both of those, I think, at the end of the night, I'm still in first. So, this is day five of the first week. Wish me luck. And after four days of play, here I am, still hanging by a thread, in first place I got three guys right on my trail it's uh, gonna be a good game tonight two hours from the opening tournament on day five of the rattlesnake 
And here I am playing against Hoss on the stream. There's me. And there's the streamer. This is why the Twitch community is so much fun. Okay, it's Saturday morning. Just woke up. All I had was one min cash in the GC games. I'm still barely in fourth with four or five guys right on my tail. Barely in fourth. Including Nova Ace. All right, so I got two more days to win this tournament. So I wake up on the final day of the first week of the Rattlesnake and find that my first place lead has dwindled to fourth place. Barely in fourth. I knew I was in second last night before I went to bed and uh, I also saw Sam Hammer and one last shot playing at the 99,000 final table last night. So, I knew I was going to drop down this morning. Today, I got my corduroy hat on because I plan on making headlines. Just stepped outside. Today is Sunday, May 15th, and today is the seventh day of the Global Poker Rattlesnake series. Pouring down rain, but I'm going to be inside the rest of the night because there are eight tournaments today. I was just thinking about what a marathon these tournaments are. And this is only the first week. I honestly, it sounds like a cop-out, but I can't do another week of the schedule of games that I've played this week just to try to keep in that top ten. But it's a lot of fun. And if you are passionate about poker, uh, you can get a lot of cool swag for very little or no money if you uh, play well and really manage your bank account. It is a huge time commitment and there's so many things I enjoy doing that I just don't think I can go for two more weeks. But who knows, after tonight we'll find out uh, if I even make the top ten and if I do end up winning the whole thing, I'm sure I won't be able to let it go next week you know I don't see how a lot of these guys that I'm playing against do it I really don't I, I admire your tenacity okay here is the beginning of the tournament I uh, came in 30 minutes late sitting right here with one of the guys that passed me last night probably had a probably won a tournament King Sacks in here he's great too uh, so wish me luck. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, shit. It's Monday morning, and after one full week in the Rattlesnake, I came in a respectable fourth place. Barely in fourth. Which just means that I will probably have to go at it again tonight because I can't help myself. And the only thing, this, which means I did win a t-shirt, and that also means that's the hardest I've ever worked for a t-shirt in my life. But people say, well, poker's fun, it's not work. And that's true unless you have to show up in those times all day, every day. And then it does, become, anything you do becomes work. If you already play video games for six hours a day, this might be a nice alternative. If you're, you know, kind of an analytical mind, you like to figure out numbers, and there's still so much luck involved uh, on a short-term basis that I feel um, a leaderboard situation like this is a time to, to shine and say, look how often I make the money, but um, I still have not won a rattlesnake. I did get a fourth last night and uh, this is how that went all right here I am Sunday night and I am fifth out of five in oh I think somebody just went out yes and that was one of the contenders 
I am now fourth out of four at a final table. Oh, I gotta call this, I think. He's got so much money, he just does he's just playing against the ace, I think. This is actually oh, this could be well, I'm going. All right, doubled up. And this is the late 99. This is the early 99. So if I can win both of these tournaments, I think I can still get first tonight. But uh, that's still a, a ways away, I would say. I'm going to go ahead and raise these sixes. That's what happens when you raise sixes. I want to hit a six over here. It looks like a ten man's all in. No call. So we're still good there. So I really need to get my first win tonight. Unfortunately, I am in fourth place and I have to make a move. So this is going to be it. It's the Joker King. Wish me luck, all of you. Here we go. Raise all in. And it's a king six I'm up against. Just avoid the six. I didn't do it. That was a six on the freaking river. And I finished fourth. And that right there is the story of my life. Go out with the best hand. But that's the way you should play. Go out with the best hand. Oh, and I would have hit the six, the third six on this one. That, that just goes to show. So I'm in this one. I've got one more low tonight, which starts in a few seconds. And I'm going to start that one about 30 minutes in so in a half an hour i'll get into my very last one but you know what maybe i can do better than fourth in this one right here let's see what happens so i've got one fourth place and uh i just don't think that's gonna raise me high enough up i saw well one shot he is doing really well so regardless Let's just play the best we can the last two tournaments. And that's how that went. So today, I'm out here on beautiful Lake Tanikamo in Branson, Missouri. And uh, I've made several videos on Lake Tanikamo, so check those out. But back to the tournament last night. I said it's like working a job and it's only because you feel like you have to enter all the tournaments because if you skip a day if I just skipped one day I dropped down several notches so the truth on global poker as I see it is it's a great way to connect with new friends the twitch community is terrific be sure and like them on Facebook to get all the promotions and you can have a lot of fun for not very much money and win some cool merchandise along the way be sure and check out part two of this video, and I'll tell you how I do. It's going to be called How I Won $500 on Global Poker. Click subscribe right now so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Here's a snipe. It's got to be a good snipe.